Hello everybody, this is Kelly Stamps, and on today's episode of Why I Like to Stay Home Where Nothing Ever Happens, I have a Florida Man story time. Actually, there's plenty of story times I can provide, but most of these are very short, brief, uncomfortable interactions that can't really be made into a 10 minute video. For example, one day I was just getting Starbucks, trying to mind my business as usual and just get my mocha latte. And a man stood up, looked at me and said, chocolate, just like that. Like I was supposed to respond to him. My name is not chocolate. It's tiramisu. Decadent desserts aside. Um, there are some really creepy people here. And when I walk into any establishment, it's like, Sucky, sucky. It reminds me of when I visited my dad at the VA in Westwood in California. You know, this old man in a wheelchair was like, Hold on now, hold on, this must be my birthday. Damn, look at you, Ooh, look at that. Boy. You know, because he was a veteran, I was like, oh, hmm, hi. Sent her by bye. But no, I don't, I don't play with these people in South Florida. And it's because it's hot and I have to deal with the lizards. So like, I'm, my patience is just, by the way, in case you're thinking of moving to Florida, you definitely should still. Don't let this video deter you from moving. Just be prepared to throw hands at some point. So I thought, wow, it's a beautiful day outside to try to eat healthy. So I go get lentil soup because it's something healthy that doesn't taste like grass. So I wake up, I put on this exact dress. I'm wearing this because, you know, I can trigger that anger I had that day. This is um, a very beautiful vintage Chanel. And this is the purse that I was carrying. This will come in later in the story. So I'm just driving, listening to the Book of Mormon soundtrack as I should, and I pull up to this place. Now to describe it, it's an outdoor cafe or half indoor, half outdoor. And you have to drive up on the side to go park in the back, then you walk to enter. So I'm driving along the side where there's diners here. Okay, and I'm kind of like scanning as I drive by really slowly and I see, <laughs> They're always there. It's a group of like four or five men. And all of them at the same time just turn their heads without moving their bodies, like a shark. And I'm like, oh no. Every woman knows that, oh no. So I go park in the back and there's no other way to really enter this place. You kind of have to go through that walkway. So I'm clutching my pearls. I'm like, don't say anything to me. Don't say anything to me. Please don't say anything. Before I know, I hear someone go, I made that purse. I'm like, this purse? By the way, this all happened over the course of like five minutes. So imagine all of this happening very quickly. I made that bag. This purse? No, no, I designed Chanel. No, oh, you didn't make this. Yeah, yeah, he made that bag. No, my brother owns this place. No, no, I fashion designer. No, you didn't make this. This is, no. Oh yeah, no, we all VIPs. No, come in. So I walk in, I'm trying to get my lentil soup and this man and his five minions are just turning around looking at me all saying, oh yeah, he designed, he, he real famous designer. He's, he designed that bag. He's like, I made that bag. I'm like, no, you didn't, baby, this is Chanel. Do you know how long it took me to find this bag online? You need to tell me that this greasy man sitting here, snoring with his mouth open, designed this bag, which I got from Japan. And I'm still continuing the walk. I didn't even stop, but he gets up. I'm like, why are you getting up? Stay seated. He gets up, he pulls the door open. I thought I was gonna stop there. And I was like, thank you. Then he grabs my wrist. Like, uh, this is, I regret not punching him and making a scene. The only reason why I didn't make a scene is because I really like this lentil soup. It's gotta be pretty good if I'm willing to put up with this. It's just, and also there was only like one other person there who wasn't, you know, Israeli, whatever. So I feel like if cops get called, we know what's gonna happen. You're gonna see me on the news. So I have my computer and stuff with me cause I was gonna edit a video. And he's like, oh, you kind of student? I said, no, I'm not in college. He's like, oh, you look so young. I'm like, how young do I look? He's like, oh, like 18, 19. I'm like, no, I'm 24. He's like, oh, yeah. He didn't care if I was 18 or 24, which is disturbing. So I'm just sitting here like, all right, well, nice to meet you. As in like, this is your signal to leave. And the cashier comes up. He looks like, and the man's like, what do you want? Yeah, I'll buy you something. I said, no, it's okay. You don't have to. No, i buy you something. I was like, well, I'm just gonna get the lentil soup. That's it, you're so skinny, you need to eat anything else. Get her some, uh, get her the, get her the shashuka. 
I'm like, no, I don't want the Shaka Khan. I just want my lentil soup. Why are you here right now? Like, this is, my anger is rising, and I'm like, you know, forget the whole lentil soup thing. I'll find somewhere else to go. I'll just make my own. I don't ever want to come back here. So then the guy's like, all right, well, your total is 687. Keep in mind, the total was 687, $6.87. What does this man do? He's trying to show off, trying to act like he got money. He's like, Ugh. okay. Oh, ah, so messy. I, I, so, uh, here you go. He gives the man $100. When he had a five, he had ones, he had tens, but he gives the man $100 to make it look like he got stacks. And the guy has to spend all day getting the cash back. And then he hands me the change. He goes, yeah. Like, take it fast before anyone sees. I'm like, I don't want your money. Like, I don't know where it's been. He's like, take it, take it. I said, I don't want your money. He takes half of it and gives me the other half. So I'm walking away with, I think it's like $37 or something. I sit down and wait for my food. Now it's kind of like the place lemonade where you kind of get like a number and then you take it to your table and sit. So I'm sitting here like, okay, my interaction is done with you. Cool, got free lunch. But like, I really would have preferred to pay for it myself. And he's just sitting there next to me like this, leaning on the counter. Hi, do we live around here? No. I have never seen you before. Welcome. I, I live near the, 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 the villa on the beach. Okay. Yeah, you should come by sometime. It's really nice. Look, let, let me show you my wife. Look, let me show you my wife. Oh, you know, it's just, just black. So beautiful black. So just, you know, once you go black, you'll never go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, look, let me show you her. Let me show you. Oh, oh so many texts. You know, I'm very busy. I'm a fashion designer. I, I made your, your clothes that you're wearing. I made that dress. This is my wife, okay. Look, she lives back in Israel with the kids. Cause you know, when you're, you're Israeli, you can go live in Israel. So that's her. Look, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, you know, it's just like black woman. The skin's so pretty. And then look, these are my kids. These are my kids, hold on. Those are the kids, okay. Yeah, so that's a little boy. Then I have two girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have boyfriend? Why did you look so skinny? And you, know, you need a boyfriend. You need to eat more. You get a boyfriend. Guys, I'm just sitting here waiting for my food. Like, what is going on? He said all of this, and the guy preparing the food is just looking at me like, what is going on? It's like Impractical Jokers. Like they're telling the guy to just say weirder and weirder things, but there's there's no Impractical Jokers around. Sal, Mer, Q, and what's the other one? Joe. Like they're they're nowhere to be found. This is real. So this man just showed me his entire family and this goes on for a while. He's showing me his wife, who is actually beautiful. I'm like, wait a second, you're married. He's sitting here telling me that I look like his kid. I'm like, Chris Hansen, I need to talk to you. Chris Hansen, where is he? This tech catch, this predator. He is saying that I look kind of like his daughter, which I actually kind of did in a way. I'm so confused, like what is going on? This is disgusting. Like I just, this is why I want to move to outer space. I just feel like every day I get progressively more angry at humanity. And I have to ask myself, you know, like, is it me or is everyone else? It's everyone else. So anyway, the food is ready. They say Kelly, before I could even reach my hands out, he takes the tray off the table, snatches it, and he walks outside to my favorite table, sits there, he places the tray on the left, and then he sits on the chair on the right and pulls out his phone and starts texting, doing little perverted things, whatever he was doing like waiting for me to come out like this was a date so i turn around and i told the server i'm like i don't know that man can you just make me a new one they're like what no like so then i go out there i told him okay i have to work so can you please get up first was nice he goes no look look sit right there i, I sit here i said get up this is my seat he's like whoa you're so feisty oh, look look you do your work i sit here i get to know each other you know maybe we do a little work together you know like actually I'm mad repeating this story because it's like, why does being a woman have to be a part-time job? You know, cause we get, it's already hard enough being a woman, but then when you're an extra shade darker, there's just like, mm -hmm. they don't know how to act. They just automatically think sexually. It's really weird. I don't know how else to describe it. I feel like I'm either ignored in society or lusted over. There's no in between whatsoever. I go to the table I get my computer out. I sit it there and I purposely like, spread it everywhere. I spread everywhere so he couldn't sit anywhere. I took the chair and put it somewhere else. So then he goes, okay, you're busy, fine, fine. You're busy, okay, okay, that's fine. Here, just give me your number. 
like he got somewhere to be, crossing his arms, huffing and puffing. He just leaves his phone next to my lentil soup. So I'm like, you know what? I don't, just for him to go away. I open up his phone. I start putting in my mom's cell phone number for all the years she yelled at me for leaving a fork in the sink. I was like, here you go. He's like, thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll link up sometime. I'll take you to dinner, you know. How do people like this exist? This is somebody's father. This is somebody's husband. Somebody's husband. I just can't get over this. And it's every day. It's not weekly. It's every day something happens. Oh, and to conclude the story, just when I thought somebody else was coming to my rescue, I saw this cute little elderly man walking by and he kept looking at me. I thought he was looking because he was concerned, like, oh, I should step in. No, he come by and he drops a little chocolate. Here you go. You, you're too skinny, you need to eat. 